All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's move on because for some reason I'm having some technical difficulties. It's not allowing me to um, live stream, but we're going to keep it moving because I feel terrible that some of my people are streaming in live or trying to and they're not able to connect. So I got to figure all of that out before I attempt that again. But anyway, let's move on. Got to keep the party going, right? So welcome, welcome back to Miss Mary's Closet. Thank you for tuning in, in for this live thing, even though that didn't go quite right, but we keep the party going, right? So anyway, today is Sugar Plum Sundays, and I'll explain to you what that is. What that is, is basically on Sundays, you get to send, inbox me a photo of the room that you're working on, and I will give you my opinion my advice and a few little tips um to help you along the way um and so that is sugar plum sundays so hopefully whatever you're working on you'll take a photo of that send it to me say hey mary what would you do with this this and that or i don't know how to organize this or this closet's been a problem whatever it is send it to me send it send it send it and i and and i got you Okay, all right, I know y'all see all of this stuff behind me. We working on the doorways and stuff. Do not think that it's just to get down like this. This is, a, this is a beauty in the making right here behind me. But I wanted to talk to you guys about what the star of the show was. See, I've been working on my youngest daughter's bedroom for quite some time, trying to give you guys little sneak peeks and stuff like that so you know what I'm working on or you know why I'm a little quiet um, because it really does consume you. It consumes all of your time, at least for me anyway, because I, I take it seriously and I'm constantly thinking, what would go good here? What would that match with? Could that go with that? Would that look nice if I put that there? So, you know, for me, that's, that's why this takes so long. But anyway, I'm going to welcome you guys to um, Milani's room and I'm going to sort of walk this way so you can see behind me. That is an actual swing and I've had that tested uh, for, by some pretty big guys and it held up. So I know it can hold her. She's only 75 pounds. That is a ceiling fan with no light. Didn't know that when I ordered it. Um, but hey, you know, it's, it is what it is. It was already installed. <laughs> we keep it moving. All right, all right. So now that I've, I've given you guys a sort of glimpse um, around the room and oh, this is the, this is her little um, desk area. You don't see it, but it's behind the door when you first come in. Um, so hopefully this desk will encourage her to do her homework and to read and do all the things that kids should be doing um, at this age and learning and, and uh, wanting to learn and read. And so um, anyway, all right, let's, let's, let's break this down. Let's break this down, right? So what you're seeing on here is two separate things, right? That's paint this is wallpaper right that wallpaper i chose because let me see let me get a little closer this wallpaper i chose maybe it'll come up on camera it has a a texture to it you can feel it and i love that now when you're looking at these samples on amazon it's very difficult to really know exactly what it it, it may be a little off so you have to look at it good read those reviews and then trust your gut right trust your gut look at those live you know like when people give their personal reviews or they take a quick video of how it came out in their their house look at those because that's going to be that's going to give you the best perception of what it really looks like i mean to the best that it possibly can right and so um, I had already chose this paint. 
she was very clear, Mama, I don't want my walls pink anymore. I'm done with the pink, Mama. I said, okay, so we're gonna do, we, she wanted to go more in the blues. And, and I will tell you, you know, my daughter suffers from ADHD and um, her mind is constantly going. She's constantly thinking, moving on to the next thing, and has difficulty sort of retaining information and listening because she is constantly on go mode, right? And so I needed this space to be calming, calming, not busy, not loud, not loud colors. I needed her to come in this space and feel calm and feel serenity and um, almost walk in here and feel like, you know, like a big hug. <laughs> like, like, all right, here's your hug, sit down, you know, like that. So it, it, uh, it was important to me to not choose very loud colors. So it had to be very, very soft, very quiet, very muted. And um, I don't like high gloss. Um, I will either get a matte or a flat finish. Uh, flat is better to sort of wipe off and spray. Matte makes things a little difficult, especially if you're using paper towel. It'll sort of leave like this lint behind and that's not what we want. That's a little ratchet. That's not what we want. So anyway, um, all right, so I got the paint first. Then I looked on Amazon, started looking at some wallpaper samples, trying to think what would look good for that feature wall, what is going to blend with that wall, what's going to look nice and soft, what's going to provide the environment that I'm looking for. And uh, this, was, um, this was sort of the closest thing that I could find. I knew I was going to do sconces. Um, I sort of kept to the white because a majority of her furniture was already white. So I definitely knew that I wanted uh, um, touches of, of white through here. And I think white softens up the environment definitely, immediately. White, white makes it feel sort of clean, crisp, calm. And I needed that, right? And if you can look behind me and see, those curtain rods are way up high, right? And so that is to provide that feeling that this room is a lot larger than what it is, right? Those windows are bigger than what they really are, you know? And I remember, I know, I know back in the day they would have never did that. They would have been like, girl, you crazy? You hung those curtains all wrong, right? Because we were taught to hang the curtain right on the trim of the window, directly on the trim. And that's not how it is anymore, you know? This, we realize over time and with decor and design and interior decorators that the perception, your eye perception and the way that you perceive things has a lot to do with decor. And so if you can make something feel bigger than what it is, then those are some of those tips. And so over time, we've changed those sort of rules and loosened things up a little bit. Um, okay, so um, now that bracket, right? This is a, a kind of weird bracket. This bracket, if I lay it flat, the TV will come way out here. So that's why the arm is um, extended that way. I don't know if I'm going to deal with that. Uh, maybe at some point, but definitely not now. Um, it's not like something that's super urgent. But um, anyway, so going through a room, figuring out when you're going to do a room, what pieces really mean a lot to you. Does that dresser mean a lot? Does that end table mean a lot? Do you want to keep that? Is it still kind of in good condition? Because then that's when we talk about sort of uh, refurbishing furniture and uh, maybe changing the knobs on it or maybe changing the color entirely of that piece of furniture um, to sort of give it a new look, right? But th those are quick things you can do to make your furniture look totally different. 
And um, this was one of the pieces that I knew I wanted to keep. I mean, this is an IKEA piece and it just, it helps so much with um, organization. And I knew she had a lot of books. It took me days to go through all the books and decide what she was gonna keep, what we could get rid of, just so that I could try to fit as much as I could within this space. And then like all of the toys that have multiple little pieces or what have you are in these cubbies. Uh, she has dolls and doll babies in one and you know, all of her little stuff there. And then this, these are um, clothes. Um, and then that's when I bought um, and I assembled these two pieces. Oh, um, the dresser that she had was sort of like an antique dresser. And that's great. There's nothing wrong with antique furniture. I think it's beautiful. The problem was is that when the furniture was painted, it wasn't painted correctly from the beginning. And so the drawers, um, also to antique furniture, did not have like those metal things on the side that help it slide in and out. Um, <clears throat> it was just wood, right? And so what to tend to happen a lot with her dresser is that the drawers would get stuck and it was very difficult for her to pull it open, to get her clothes in the morning. It was really frustrating. And, um, you know, it was, it was, it was going to be way too much work to try to, um, revive that and it, it way too much work that I, I, w I just wasn't willing to put in. I just don't have the time. So I just figured it was time to start off um, fresh. So I knew I was gonna keep the big piece. And so I got this dresser with two of these. It came with two of these end tables. That's her humidifier. Um, but it came with two end tables. So I put one next to her bed, um, which is over. I don't wanna get you guys dizzy, but is in this corner right here. Um, and so that's what made me um, get some that now I got this from Ikea. It's pretty easy to assemble. I get it A lot of people don't like to buy from Ikea because they don't want to assemble the furniture, but Ikea has amazing things a lot of tools to help you organize your space um, To freshen up your space. They are extremely affordable They have things that are on the higher end, but they do have pieces that are affordable and that can help you at least get your space to a, a place where you can be comfortable and then maybe slowly work on it from there you know um and don't be afraid ladies to pick up that hammer pick up that screwdriver you are definitely capable um and i believe in you you will feel so good about yourself when you can put these things together on your own so you know just don't be afraid and just go for it um also what was my next point um okay oh organization so the ikea also has these things here for the drawers now these little cubes help a lot because she would go in her drawer and knock down a whole pile of stuff go through things leave things all disheveled shove it back in the drawer and then i have all this you know clean laundry that looks like it's not clean because it's all wrinkled and it's nothing is placed in the right place so i figured we would try something new right so ikea you can get these in a set or you can buy just a set of two and they have different sizes so they have the larger size the medium size and the small one and so you can get two <coughs> two large two medium two small and um, it's not bad. It was only like $8, you know, and you can order that right online, you know, which is like really good, really good. So this is what I chose to do with her other big one. I just sort of, she, my daughter is like the legging queen. So I just rolled up a lot of her leggings and I put it in here and that way she can see which one she wants and then pick a shirt and, um, you guys see this right you see you see the organization right check in with me in about a week let's see how this looks okay 
Holla at your girl. Call me up. <laughs> I'll let you know how this looks after the fact. <laughs> um, but anyway, these drawers are very big. They fit a lot of stuff in them. They're super deep. These are all her, like, sunglasses and little wallets and her ear pod boxes and whatever else. So all her stuff. Her stuff is in her room, not in mine. <laughs> Um, I use these little hooks for her bonnets. I thought that was super cute. Um, we just sort of reuse, repurpose those. And um, her closet is still uh, a work in progress, but these are sort of um, uniforms and, and sort of her school clothes, things like that. I tried to put um, all our game boards and things like that up there. Um, and I also put in a motion light. I mean, I don't know how often this thing, does it? Yeah, see, you can either put it on or you can put it on for motion. And it's not, I mean, I don't know. It's not the greatest. It's not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need one or two or three more of those. Who knows? Because it's not, I don't, I don't really feel like it's that helpful. Um, but anyway. All right, so this is her her entryway. This is the remote for the fan. Um, and then she can put her little, you know, raincoat, whatever, there and um, keep it moving. Um, but I'd like to go through a lot of the spaces in here if you guys want me to. And we can really go through detail you know like Mary why did you choose this what made you choose that and I am more than willing to break everything down with you guys and help you come along in your renovation process remember what I said this is not this channel is not about buying whatever you want to buy for however much it costs this channel is about renovating redecorating and learning how to live in your space in a totally new way on a budget, on a minimal budget, okay? Because I know, I'm a single mom, I know what that's like. And so, you know, I can give you guys more detailed tips about how I was able to financially, um, you know, uh, make all of these things happen over time. Um, because maybe you can use my same strategy. Maybe it'll help you. I'm sure it will. So if you want to know, hit me up. Hit me up in my inbox and I will tell you. Um, anyway. Oh, this is what I wanted to tell you guys. You know, I realized after doing the pantry over and, and just different new projects I've taken on around the house, I realized... I lived here 13 years with that pantry like that. You know, not serving me any purpose at all. I mean, what was it? Holding some paper towels, some toilet paper? Like my little bin that I called a toolkit that had like four things in it. It wasn't. It wasn't helpful to me in any way. And after changing that space, I gotta tell you, I feel like I live in this house totally different now, you know? Like living in my home is so different now. You know, you're really living in your space and you're enjoying your space on a whole nother level when you can really utilize your whole space everything in a productive organized way it it is it's definitely worth it it's worth the work so i hope you'll join me in this um <laughs> you know i don't know on this ad on this adventure on this you know path to you know i don't know this path to to providing the home that you want to live in um, and I will help you along the way 
Um, and I will say, please, please support your girl. Please, you know, hit that like button. I know so many people watch these videos and they just skip on by and they don't realize how much that like button really helps. So hit that like button. For all of you that are new here, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video. I'm humble. Please subscribe so we can get to know each other better. So you can see so many other new things that I have to show you. Um, I have so much to teach you, so much to show you. Everything, everything, everything that's up here, I'm going to share with you. You're going to know it. Even if you don't want to, I'm going to share it. So, I need you to join me and my process, my journey, so that I can help you along the way. And I thank you, and I'm, and I'm grateful, and I appreciate you. Blessings. Have a good night.